welcome, welcome. I'm sure you're wondering, who's this girl? Yes. So, um, allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Shadal Justin Lobo. Um, so today we're going to be doing something very different. As you can see, Pamela is not here. It's just me. She had asked me to speak to you guys about just my natural hair, natural journey, how has it been, the do's and don'ts, just everything natural, everything natural. So let's get into this video. Okay, so the first question is, how long have you been natural? Yo, for me, I think it's been a good two years now. It's been a good two years since I've been natural. It has been the hardest of the hardest two years ever. Um, one thing I can tell you, it's not easy. It is really not easy to be natural. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of time, um, consistency as well. It's, it's a lot. So when you, I don't want to say when you be natural, but when you return natural, then, um, you will see that the change doesn't just change your hair, but your everything, everything in your being changes. So. Next question is, how do you feel when someone touches your hair? <laughs> um, at first, at first, when I was really insecure about my hair, I, I didn't like anyone to touch my hair. I felt really like, oh, can you leave my hair? Like, mm, uh, you know but um after some time when i could see progress and i could see growth as well i was very 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 comfortable with my hair and comfortable with myself that i i felt okay with people touching my hair i was i was fine with it but you need to also be careful about who touches your hair because you can't come touch my hair and you've got oily hands and mm -mm, make sure you, your hands are clean Yes. <laughs> okay, so next question is Um how do you feel about hair discrimination between hair textures solution? I feel a big way about this because for me personally, I am one with all races in my family. So when one of my races get discriminated upon like black people, I feel a type of way, you know, because I have black family. I have black hair as well. If it's white, I also have white family. My hair can be white. Colored, same thing. Indian, same thing. And I feel like this will never end. Um, apartheid is in the mind. And there's just so many old people who are still stuck in their mind. And will never ever, ever be free. So it's there. It's just low key. But... I don't think there's any solution to it but for you as an individual to be truth to speak your truth to be who you are and to not be ashamed of your hair texture or how you look with a different hairstyle but be yourself and be free Christian, um any tips for anyone who wants to go natural but is afraid <gasps> i would say just go just do it get it done because you're never ever going to do it i promise you for me i never think about it i just cut my hair i just cut it and afterwards I obviously took care of it and i, I put the products needed and then and i googled a lot to see what can grow my hair naturally the good way and it, it's it's as you can see the results so for me for anyone who wants to go natural but is afraid i would just say just do it just do it, get it done. Because if you're not doing it because you're afraid, you're never ever going to do it. You're just wasting time, you know. Next question. What is your favorite hair product and why? My favorite hair products is, it has to be Shea Moisture and on Jackie's. Also, Cantu. Those three are my top three. Not because they are popular or everyone knows about it, but it works for my hair. It really works for my hair. Um, we're all different, so we all have different hair textures, hair types. And what will work for me might not work for you. So that's why it's so important to know your hair. 
to know what type of hair you are, to know which products will work with your hair to get the goal that you want to get. So this is one of the <coughs> current products that I'm using by Shia Moisture. And if you can see it. Um, I couldn't really comment about this just yet because I just started using it. But it's amazing. The definition of my curls, good. The texture, the smell is amazing as well. Everything about sheer moisture in general is awesome. And then this conditioner has really been also great. Also sheer moisture. Yeah, this, this really actually helped me with detangling my hair. Super important as well. You need to have conditioner when you're detangling your hair because you need to you need to detangle it. Also, a wide brush is needed. You cannot detangle your hair with those small. Mm -mm. It's not gonna work, or so it's gonna break your hair. Okay, next question: Is some natural if they use heat, color, or they keep it short? Um, perfect example. So, heating has its advantages and disadvantages. For me, the disadvantage is if you constantly heat your hair, like every single week, every day, you know, then that is when the heat damages your hair. But if you heat iron your hair out maybe twice or once a month, then that's an advantage because not only does your hair grow, but it also makes your curls soft or your hair soft, you know. So I, I would encourage you to heat your hair. But not every single day or every single week. Maybe once a month or twice a month. But it mustn't be constantly because that's when your hair breaks. And your ends are, are looking brittle. And mm -mm. It needs to be once a month or twice a month. You can even go like three, four months. For me, I haven't ironed my hair out for like four months. And the growth, the length, it's crazy. Yeah, next question. Washing your hair yourself or at a salon? Definitely myself. <sighs> Guys, let me tell you something. So I went to my local salon to get my hair done. And... <sighs> guys, guys, you know, when I tell you, it was just the most terrible experience ever. So I go there, I ask for blow. Uh, a wash blow and iron young lady came to me she no problem let's go she washed my hair um so my hair frizzes when it's wet it's just it curls up and it gets frizzy and here she is trying to like brush 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 and come out the curls to a point where i'm like um my curls aren't going anywhere that's just how my hair is and she's like oh my god i'm so sorry i didn't know i thought it's, it's, it's not so i'm like yo so for me, it's a definitely, I, I would wash my hair by myself at home. Not just that as well, but because my hair takes time, you need to get in there. And if you don't, then you just, you're just doing a quick job. But um, yeah, I, I learned my lesson by going to a salon and no more. So from then onwards, I told myself that now I will go and do my hair myself at my home wash it the way I do it and do my hair the way it's supposed to be done. But Next question. What do you like or dislike about your hair? Mm. What I like about my hair is that it's very thick, very thick. Therefore, um, I can do many styles. I can do many, um, whatever I want basically with my hair. What I dislike about my hair is it's, it's it's uneven. It's very uneven. And also um different sections of my hair there's like a different texture. So maybe at the back and the side, this side, this back and front will be more curly and my curls will be so defined. And then the back on this side will be so coarse. Then the front will be just straight, you know. So that's why I don't like about my hair. There's never just one texture. There's like many textures. So that is just like a... <sighs> about my hair. Brass and love it. Question. Um, best tip you've learned 
blends as a natural. I would say the best tip I've learned as a natural is to section my hair out when I wash it. That's a, that's a definite. Um, number two, use a wide toothpaste. <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> Tooth comb when you um, section your hair and you're combing out and detangling it. Number three, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. It's so important to moisturize your hair. Even if you have box braids or any type of braid on your hair, please make sure that you moisturize your hair because if you do not, your hair will get tangled, will, will get brittle, it will get stuck together, you know, it's, it's not good, not healthy for your hair. So those are like the just things that I've learned about um, being natural. But most importantly is definitely to oil your hair. Any type of oil, just make sure that your roots are getting moistured all the time. All the time, all the time. Guys, one more thing. It is very important to deep condition your hair. Very important. Please take note that after you braid your hair, with whatever type of braid, maybe box braid, straight back, straight up, whatever braid that you decide to use, it's very important to deep condition your hair after. So once you've taken out your braid, you deep condition your hair. Then you wash, condition, and then you do whatever as you wish. But for me, the way I deep condition my hair, I use mayonnaise. Maybe like two spoons of mayonnaise, um, four, three to four eggs, and my oil. I use amla oil on my hair. Put it in a bowl, I mix it up, section my hair, and I moisturize that deep conditioning into my, my roots, both sides. I, once I'm done deep conditioning my hair, I put my hair in a bun. I put like a, a spa packet or clear packet over my hair. I wait for it to absorb the moisture and the flavor for about 45 minutes. Yeah, for about 45 minutes. After I'm done with that, I rinse my hair with cold water. Please guys, with cold water, not warm water. Because I made a mistake once and I, I, I rinsed out my hair with warm water. And guys, <laughs> did the egg not cook on my hair? I was like, what? I was wondering like, why are these white things coming out of my hair? But it's the egg. So guys, please don't make the mistake I made. When you um, rinse it out with deep conditioning, make sure that you rinse it out with cold water. Cold water. <laughs> for watching till the end um just a few words of encouragement to anyone who would like to return natural just do it get it done it is the most beautiful thing to see someone at their natural form i'm not saying that you who have relaxed hair you know no 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 we love you too sis but for the ladies who are considering going natural I would say definitely go for it because you will not be mistaken although yes it is very hard it's very hard but you being consistent you buying these expensive products guys it is expensive let me tell you now it's expensive but it is so worth it it is so so worth it so just a few words of encouragement um you can do it go for it it's it's hard but you you will you will enjoy <laughs> anyway guys you can catch me on facebook twitter instagram whatsapp 1062 i'm choking <laughs> yeah on facebook as sherelle jocelyn global instagram as sherelle jocelyn uh twitter mm -mm. No, you can't, you can't catch me on Twitter, guys. You can't. I'm there for the tea. <laughs> I'm joking. Guys, um, thank you so much for tuning into Pamela's World. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We love you. Stay blessed. Goodbye.